at the thing on there. Now, most of my fittings are brass. This stuff kind of attacks brass, they warn you about it. So I just dip it in there, get it saturated, and then swab out the bore with it. Just get it coated in there. Real good. And I guess you let it sit for about a half hour or so. So we're going to let this sit there, and we're going to come back to it in a while and see if there's any effect or if it does what it says it does. Okay, after about 15, 20 minutes, the fluid has turned to a reddish color in there. Uh, if it's working or not, I don't know. We're going to let it set a little longer. It looks like it's bubbling in the lands and grooves, so it's a good sign, but I don't know. Now we're going to go on to our other method and try cleaning up this gun with carburetor cleaner. All right, this method here, I just got the gun down. I took the bolt out. Spray some carburetor cleaner in the bore. Spray a little on the oversized brush. It's 50 caliber rifle, so I'm using a 54 caliber brush. And just run it back and forth a few times. That's all I'm going to do here. Then we'll run a patch down and see what we get. Okay, once we scrubbed it out pretty well, run a jag and patch through there. See what we end up with. That's black residue. Chunks of stuff. Could be letting, could be just dirt. But that's that's this method. And I found that, you know, on a patch I found little bits of uh lead out of the grooves and that. So that's another method. You can try that, see if it works for you. I'm gonna work on this some more. I ain't gonna videotape me scrubbing the hell out of this, but that's uh the other method. Now while we're waiting. We'll check out that wonder, no brushing stuff and see if it does anything. Okay, this stuff's been in there about 45 minutes. It's going to run a patch through. Now they say that the dissolved lead will show up as pink on the patch. And you just keep running the patches and doing the treatment to it until the pink stops. And again, when I did this before, it just comes out this mustard orange color stuff like rust. I don't really see any pink on there. You know, it's not doing what the hell it advertised. I don't know if it is or not. But it doesn't react the way they say it is. People, some people said it worked, some people didn't quite use it or understand what the hell is going on. I guess the only thing is I'll treat the bar again, go through this, clean it real good, and then I'll re-slug it and see if my slug comes out better. So all of these patches are coming out with this rusty brownish color stuff to me. I don't see anything pink. It was bubbling in there, it was reacting. So maybe it is loosening the letting up. I, I don't know. But I'm going to go and wipe this out and then I'm going to treat it again, let it sit for another half hour, wipe it out again, and I'll re-slug it and tell you if there's a difference. But that's what I'm getting with it. It's it's not really quite doing what it's advertised. It's it's not red like it shows on the midway picture. It's white. It turns red in the barrel. And supposedly the red is supposed to turn to a pink, meaning the letting's being removed, and you're supposed to keep treating it until the pink leaves. 
but I don't see pink. I just see this rusty brownish color stuff. Um, looks like it's removing something. Something's coming out of there. They could be letting. Okay, uh, I, I don't know. But I'm going to treat it again, clean it all up, and I'm going to take a slug. And that's the only way I can tell. Once I run that slug through there, I'll see if it mics up different than the original one I did before it started. But like you can see, there's no real finite thing I can tell you. I've been trying everything. The other gun has got problems at the muzzle. So I run the uh, carburetor cleaner through there, and it did loosen up a lot of black stuff. I got to fool with that. But basically, that's the only other way of doing it. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to go and try scrubbing it out with the carburetor cleaner. Okay, we did two treatments on this barrel here, and I run most of it out. It does turn into a gooey substance, but it's rust colored. Now I'm scraping it out or scrubbing it out or patching it out with hoppies. There's supposed to be no brushes needed. Uh, and it's still coming up with this weird residue. I'm going to just keep swabbing it out with hoppies and clean patches until I uh, get all of the stuff out or you know the patches come out clean. Uh, whatever this stuff is, I don't know if it's done anything. What I'm going to do is clean this out and uh, re-slug the bar. See if the lighting's gone. See, it's still coming out of there. This is going to be a pretty tough cleaning job, and then you got it. The residue is kind of odd too. You got little spots of it everywhere. It doesn't seem to rust. It just it seems like this reddish, gooey stuff. I think there's some down here. I don't. Know. And this, if this came from that or not, down there. Uh, so I'm going to clean this all off. Yeah, there's some of it on the end of the barrel. But it comes... If you do use this, clean this stuff off of the gun. And then oil it. Um, down in the receiver and everything. But that's what I'm going to do right now, is try to clean the majority. It's in the chamber and everything. Clean the majority of this crap out of here. So, something, you know, it turned to a thick, gooey substance to come out. I don't know if it removed the lead or not. So I'm going to clean it some more and then see what I end up with. Well, so far, this is what we had. We had this trapdoor barrel. Now, when I looked down the bore with a light, it was extremely shiny, bright, no signs of pitting or anything. And this is another thing when you fool with these guns, you got to watch out. We tried this wipe out no lead where you just paint it in there, let it set, and it should come out with a, just with a patch. Well, the buildup in these trapdoors can be so great, you know, like five thousandths thick leading, which is in here. This stuff does work. It goes in as a clean liquid, bubbles, you let it sit in there, and it has removed sections. The whole, this area here has light pitting all towards the muzzle. Nothing horrible, but very light little pitting, which was invisible. Which means that this has taken the lead deposits out of the barrel. And from standing out in the sunlight and looking down the end of the muzzle, the last inch or so has like a black residue. And you can see where this stuff is sat there in little spots of it, like the higher ends of the edges of the bore. It's gray metal again. It's removing this crap. But I let it sit in there in a second coating, and it's thick. It's thick in the chamber. It's thick up here. This stuff does work over time, but you might spend a day, two days cleaning this. I mean, I'm trying to get it out, and I'm still getting patches with that stuff on there. It's still working or something, or the buildup's just overwhelming. So 